Let's talk a little bit about how Scout keeps our data up to date uh, in our search index. Now we know at the moment we've been running commands like Scout import and Scout flush to clear things out and re-import them. But you obviously don't want to have to do this every single time a record gets updated. And you don't actually have to do that. So let's just look at an example. I'm going to go ahead and search for something in here. Just pick one of these results. Let's pick this one here with the ID of 64. Let's head directly over to the database, over to articles, and let's filter this by that ID. And sure enough, if we update this, so for example, if I just change this to new title and save it out, that's not going to have any effect on our search index because our search index doesn't necessarily know anything about our uh, actual result. Now this is fine for things like this because remember what happens within Laravel Scout when you perform a search, this will go ahead and only grab the ID and then look that data up in the database. Now if we open up our actual millisearch instance, so if we just come over to where we are running millisearch and open this up in the browser and we search for the ID of I think it was 64. Let's just double check that. Yeah, you can see inside of the search index, it still has the old title. Now, if we were to implement something like a JavaScript search that directly hit the millisearch API, which is what we're going to do in another course, then we're still going to get the outdated title. So although Scout does pick the ID, then fetch these directly out of the database for you, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and take a look at how these get kept up to date. Now, unfortunately, if you are updating things in the database, Metasearch has no idea about that. Laravel Scout has no idea about that. So you can't really get around that other than going ahead and re-importing your data. However, let's take a look at what happens when we update this within our application. Let's go over to Roots and Web and just create out an example root here to see what happens when a model gets updated. So I'm just going to call this update and we're just going to do this in a closure inside of our roots. Let's go ahead and find that article. So that's 64 and let's go ahead and directly update it in here and just pass in a new title. So let's say a new title and let's just add an exclamation mark. Let's make sure we import the article model and let's see what happens when we run this and we can keep an eye on our actual millisearch index. So let's go over to slash update and okay, yeah, we just actually need to make sure we have fillable or we could just set guarded to an empty array and let's try that out. Okay, great. So now let's come over to here and search for 64 and you can see that's been updated. So what happens is because inside of our model we have searchable, this is going to check whenever anything is updated. Let's dive into that a little bit, it's actually quite interesting. So if we just go up, I think it's at the top here, and there we go. So this, once it's booted, once this trait has been booted, we are using a model observer here, which means if we just open this up and it would be directly within this directory, so let's just make sure we open up the correct one, you can see, we come down here saved which means when something gets saved we have deleted when something gets deleted or forced deleted or even restored these are just hooks within eloquent so what's happening here then is if all of these checks pass for example if they are not searchable we obviously don't want to do anything uh, we're going to go ahead and call this searchable method so if we come over here and look for that searchable method you can see that it will go ahead and make the given model instance searchable. So essentially all that's happening here is whenever we perform an action on a model which would update our index, this happens for us. So if your users are updating articles, you don't need to come in here and manually go ahead and re-import all of your records. So hopefully that's helpful just to kind of give you an idea of what happens behind the scenes here.